Hey there, it's Seb Fry here with another exciting episode of It's a Seb Show. And today I want to talk about the phenomenon of how all of Silicon Valley is moving to Santa Cruz. Now, if you happen to be someone looking to buy a home in Santa Cruz lately, like in 2021, you may have noticed how absolutely insane the real estate market is, right? It seems like every property that comes on the market, when in the rare case a property actually does come up for sale, uh, you'll find that it does sell very quickly, usually with multiple offers and almost always for a good healthy margin over asking price. Now, if you are a first time buyer and you're trying to get into the Santa Cruz County real estate market, you might find it to be a very discouraging time to be in the market. Or maybe if you're a move up buyer, maybe you have like a smaller house or a condo and you want to move up to like a you know a bigger single family home someplace, then it is very challenging to get into almost any neighborhood here in the Santa Cruz County area. And that is simply because there are so many people coming from the Silicon Valley and moving into Santa Cruz. Now, why are they doing that? Well, of course, it has something to do with this wonderful pandemic that we are still slogging our way through. Um, many employers are now allowing their employees to basically work at home either some or all of the week. For example, just recently, Google has announced that it is moving to a permanent schedule where workers will only have to come in three days a week. Now, a lot of employers, even before the pandemic, were having people come in only four days a week or allowing them to like, you know, time shift, you know, come in at 7 a.m. and leave at whenever, right? So this is a uh, process that's been going on for quite some time where people are moving to uh, Santa Cruz because, you know, broadband has gotten a lot better and their employers are getting a little more flexible with the time they must be in the office. But that has really accelerated quite a bit uh, here with the uh, pandemic. And it looks to be a permanent feature of the you know uh, infrastructure going forward where a lot of people instead of commuting on the actual physical highway will be commuting on the information superhighway <laughs> all right so uh, listen it's not just me saying this you know i mean i'm a realtor right now i see what's going on i work with people trying to buy and sell real estate in santa cruz and silicon valley every day so it's not just my anecdotal experience uh there's some headline news that maybe you missed it came out uh last week and uh, Realtor.com and the Wall Street Journal got together and they had a baby. Well, they didn't have a baby. <laughs> they decided to do a joint report, which is the, the Emerging Real Estate Markets Report. So in this article, which they posted last week, it had the top 10 emerging, emerging real estate markets in the entire United States. And you may have heard this one that Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, never been there, here's lovely. Coeur d'Alene, Idaho is the number one emerging real estate market in the entire United States. And then numbers two through nine are a bunch of places that, uh, you know, are in the heartland, right? I mean, uh, they're not, uh, you know, any major spots anywhere that you probably heard heard of. Uh, although here's a list right here. You can go ahead, take a look. Maybe uh, you recognize some of those towns. But then at the bottom of the list, good old number 10, the 10th hottest emerging market in the entire United States is Santa Cruz, California. That's right. Santa Cruz, California is an emerging real estate market, even though we've been here, of course, obviously for like 180 years or however long Santa Cruz has been around, been around quite some time. Uh, but just now we are emerging as a very hot real estate market. And that's, uh, you know, if you read the article, uh, they say that emerging market is one where there are rising prices, very strong demand uh, in areas of uh, robust economy with uh, good employment um, you know, statistics and also uh, a lot of natural amenities that people are really looking for uh, in homes these days, like, you know, waterfront or, you know, somewhere near the ocean or beautiful forests, you know, which Santa Cruz, of course, has in great abundance. So you're not imagining this. You're not imagining that there's tremendous, tremendous demand here in Santa Cruz County. And then I hear other people saying like, hey, uh, should I wait to buy until prices drop? You know, uh, are we in a bubble? Uh, is this whole thing about to come crashing down? So I want to mention that really quickly, the whole bubble thing. And to me, what is a bubble? What the long, uh, the end, sorry, the long and short of it to me is that a bubble is basically unsustainable prices, right? So like you have a bubble, boop, 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 it, it, you know, blows up to a certain point. And then it shrinks in and collapses because you can't maintain that bubble. And you you hear people saying like, I've been saying we're in a bubble for 20 years now. Well, I'm telling you that if you think we've been in a bubble for 20 years, then you need to re-examine your definition of what a bubble is. Because, you know, people think that prices go up like this in a straight line and they don't. I mean, if you study a graph of real estate pricing, you'll see that actually there's periods where it goes up and down, right? Overall, it's going up, but it doesn't go up in a straight line. There are, you know peaks and valleys along the way. 
And I'm not saying if you buy a house today, then it's not going to go down in value 10% tomorrow. Quite possibly it could. Who knows? I don't know the future. But I do know that um, I expect prices to continue to rise over time in the greater San Francisco Bay Area for many, many reasons. You know, a lot of people are saying, hey, the virtual um, world is going to mean that, you know, people don't need to be in any one particular place anymore. Well, if that's the case, why did Microsoft just agree to spend like $75 million for a new uh, campus in San Jose? Right? They just bought dirt. I think it was 30 or 40 acres. It was announced last week, too. About 30 or 40 acres for like $75 million to uh, build yet another brand new Microsoft campus. And you hear about the investments that Amazon is making and Apple and Google and all these like world beating companies are continuing to invest in the Bay Area. You have to, I think, come to the conclusion that it's not going to go away. People are not just going to all of a sudden leave the area and then that bubble is just going to shrink, right? And I think that we're going to see a lot of jobs continuing to be created here in the greater San Francisco Bay Area and, and Santa Cruz too, right? Um, and that we're not going to have that tricky. Now, of course, it could happen. Anything can happen, right? But I think when you look at the historical trends and where things are going, it's not going in the direction where all of a sudden everyone's going to leave California. <laughs> and that joke, uh, you know, we're the last person to leave California. Please turn out the lights. Ha ha. That's just not going to happen. So, you know, um, should you wait for the market to cool down? You know what? You may be waiting for a long time. The market may never be cool. I mean, like the market's been getting hotter for 10 years now, solid years in a row since the uh, end of the uh, mortgage crisis or whatever. Um, so I don't know. I mean, like you could wait and you could hope prices go down, but I think you might be waiting a long time. And, and you know, why would you want to put your life on hold for that long of a time waiting for a someday that may well never come? All right. Well, that is it. That's it. That's all I got for this episode of It's a Seb Show. Thank you so very much for watching. Listen, I'm wondering what you think about this. I would love it if you would give me a comment. That would be awesome. Or a thumbs up if you uh, kind of uh, dig what I'm saying here. That would be cool. Now, you know, it would be super fantastic if you would share this with someone that you know who is wondering, gee, what the hell is going on with the Santa Cruz real estate market? I think they might enjoy uh, watching this as well. And if you would do this, oh, man, it'd be awesome. Bing, click that little subscribe button right there and subscribe to Seb Fry TV on YouTube. All right. Well, hey, that's it for this episode of It's a Seb Show. Thank you so very much for watching. But don't worry. Hey, it's okay, man. Listen, I'll have another episode up again before too long.